Our hearts are heavy today and our prayers are with the Perry community. This strikes at the heart of everything that we hold dear. This senseless tragedy has shaken our entire state to the core. And I want this community to know that every Iowan stands with you. It's impossible to understand why anything like this happens. But again, I want you to know that we'll work tirelessly to get the answers so that we can prevent it from happening again. Officers immediately attempted to locate the source of the threat and quickly found what appeared to be the shooter with a self-inflicted gunshot wound. As additional officers responded, a systematic approach search of the school took place. Officers located during the search of the school an improvised explosive device. The state fire marshal and the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms rendered the device safe. Numerous officers from multiple agencies were able to secure the school and verify no additional threats. The shooter has been identified as 17-year-old Dylan Butler, a student at Perry High School. Butler was armed with a pump action shotgun and a small caliber handgun. Butler also made a number of social media posts in and around the time of the shooting. Law enforcement is working to secure those pieces of evidence. All evidence thus far suggests that Butler acted alone. There are six victims, one of them who is deceased. That individual was a sixth grade student at Perry Middle School. The other five are being treated at area hospitals. Four of the surviving student, four of the victim, surviving victims are students, and the fifth is a school administrator. It all happened in the uh, Perry High School and it was before school started, so there were not many students, and it's our understanding that there was a breakfast program going on, so there may have been students of, of different grades, if you will, in the school at that time. But it all was contained in the Perry High School, not in any of the other buildings.